In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple home cleaning robot I call it Zion. So Zion will be a robot that's going to move around your home and perform cleaning. We're going to look into two cleaning process, vacuuming and mopping. But that's one problem is that you don't want your robot to you know, be simply moving around, heating and knocking onto things at home, right? So for that, we're going to implement an obstacle avoidance system onto it. So that's pretty much about it, so let's get going. Alright, so now I'm on my Tinkercap software. Before we start building, I'm going to first explain what's going to happen next. So I'm going to divide the build into two main modules. One is driving module, second will be cleaning module. Okay, for the driving module, we're going to see from the perspective of input, processing and output. So for the output part, we want our, our robot to move. So for that, we're going to need to have uh, motors as well as motor drivers. So motor drivers is in charge of controlling directions and speed of the motor. Okay, so now we can move, robot can move, so we need to avoid obstacles. For that, we use, we use uh, ultrasonic sensor and the ultrasonic sensor will send its reading to our main processing unit, which is Arduino. And the Arduino decides and sends instructions to control the motor. Okay, next we also use uh, servo. Why are we using servo is because you want to detect, you want your robot to be able to detect obstacle from every side possible. Okay, so instead of using multiple uh, ultrasonic sensor on your robot, we simply just use a uh, servo to rotate the ultrasonic sensor. So now we can see left all the way to right. Okay. We also have indicators, uh, left and right signal indicators. So this left and right signal indicator is pretty much uh, just like when you turn, when your robot turns left, you will turn on the uh, left indicator, turn right, and then turn on the right indicator. Okay. And then we have buzzer, like as a obstacle notifier. So it will buzz when there's obstacle, notify human, or perhaps pass. So that's pretty much about it. Next, we'll look into cleaning module. So cleaning module, we have two models, one for mopping, one for vacuuming. So we're going to create a vacuum suction system. So for that, we're just going to simply control motor to rotate the propeller of the uh, vacuum. And for mopping, we're going to control, we're going to rotate a fabric to produce a uh, wiping motion. So the motor will turn and then uh, the cloth will start wiping the floor. Okay, so you can see here, no usage of uh, input or processing unit. And why is that? Simply because when you are cleaning, we want the cleaning process to carry out at all time. So there's no need of a sensor to activate or control when to turn it on or off. So when it's on, then it will be on, always on. If it's off, then it's so that's all. Right. Okay, next we're going to power up our wiring for our driving body. We're going to use Arduino Uno 2 DC gate motor and then one uh, motor driver L293D. I'm not a very more well kind of person, so I'll be using one if you want to. You can. I'm also powering up motor with uh, external 9 volt battery so you have enough power to rotate. And for obstacle avoidance, I'm going to use one servo and one ultrasonic sensor ACS04. Indicators are LEDs and power up with uh, resistor 280 ohm and one buzzer. And for the cleaning module, I'm going to use one slider switch, one DC motor, and one DC gate motor. Okay, next to power up our motor driver, we're going to first connect GND to GND, uh, GND to GND, and then uh, one of the GND goes into battery's GND, and the other GND goes to Arduino's GND, and then we have enable pin, enable pin is used to control activation and the speed of our uh, motor, so we're going to power up constantly on with 100% um, of duty cycle PWM, so we're going to connect enable 1, 2, 3, 4 into power 2, power 2 will be connected to 5 volt, and then power 1 will be connected to the battery. Input 1 will connect to digital 11, input 2 to digital 10, uh, input 3 to digital 5, and input 4 to digital uh, 6, and then uh, output 1, 2 will go to left motor, output 3, 4 will go into right motor. Ultrasonic sensor, servo, LED buzzer, GND will go into GND, uh, power will power up by 5 volt, trigger to pin 3, equal pin 4, signal for buzzer, pin 2, signal for servo, pin 9, uh, left LED to pin 12, right LED to pin 13, and then next we power up the motor for cleaning module with uh, 9 volt and connect it to switch, and that's it for our second. Okay, so now for coding, we're going to start by creating variable, we need 3 variables, we're going to call it front this, left this, and right this. Okay, so this variable is going to be used to store uh, ultrasonic sensor really for all 3 sides. And then next, we're going to set our servo to default mode to look forward, look forward, uh, default, so pin 9, 90 degree. After that, we're going to give it a short delay, so for it to position itself, get itself ready. And after that, we can begin by reading our ultrasonic sensors reading, and then sorry, on the this is our front variable. So, ultrasonic sensor reading trigger is on pin 3, equals on default. Okay, so now we have our reading, we're going to start by checking our variable, so we're going to use if then else, and then I use mathematics, so we're going to be using this one. We're going to check if it's more than 50, that means if it's more than 50, that means there is no uh, obstacle, okay? So, if there's no obstacle, we can simply move forward. Okay, so to move forward, I'm going to rotate left and right motor forward, so for that left motor forward with pin 11 and right motor forward with pin 6. Okay, you don't have to be doing this uh, weight and this low part, this three blocks, you just have to make sure when you're building a real one, just use this, uh, these two high blocks will be enough. I'm just doing this for simulation purpose, it's easier for you to view when I make it rotate and then pause and then rotate again. You can see the rotation easier for simulation purpose. Okay, so next else, that means there is obstacle, for first thing, we're going to make sure our uh, buzzer turns on, so buzzer is on pin 2, and then we'll set it to 0.5 seconds. Okay, and then we're going to rotate our circle, okay, to look left, for my case, it, uh, left is 180 degree, okay, so pin 9. Okay, again, we're gonna let it wait for one second so it gets off position. Okay, for the variable, we're gonna set this time it's looking left, so we're gonna set left distance. And then ultrasonic sensor reading. So this time when the ultrasonic sensor is taking the reading, it's already looking towards left. Okay. Okay, now wait, and then we're gonna rotate towards right. So in my case, right is uh, zero degrees, so I'm gonna change that, I'm gonna change pin 9. Okay, position itself, so give it a delay, short delay. And then begin taking the reading. This time it's taking right side, so I'm gonna put it to right distance. Again, input from ultrasonic sensor. All our reading, we're gonna be checking if then else. Okay, we use control if then else. So first of all, we're gonna use mathematics to check if our left and right both are being occupied. That means both both sides has obstacles, so all sides are being uh, blocked by obstacles. So what we're gonna simply do is just reverse. Okay, 50, 50, okay. Left distance, less than 50, right distance, less than 50, okay, reverse. So to reverse uh, on left motor, we will need to use pin 10. On right motor is pin 5. So in case you are 
um, you find it curious why you shouldn't be using it, you can uh, try it. But what you will get is uh, your robot's gonna move and then stop, move and then stop. Okay, so now the next thing is we need to check if only one side of it is being blocked. So let's say I want to check if only uh, left side is being blocked by obstacle. Okay, so for that, uh, left side, left distance is gonna be less than uh, left distance is gonna be less than fifty, and right is gonna be more than fifty. That means there is no obstacle. Okay, so left less than fifty, right more than fifty. So if right side don't have, so there's no obstacle on the right, so we're gonna turn right. Okay, so to turn right, you want motor to a uh, uh, left motor, left motor to be moving forward, right motor to reverse. So to move forward on left motor, we will use pin eleven to reverse on right motor. We will use pin five. Okay, one more thing we need to do is we need to set our LED indicators for right LED is connected to pin thirteen. Okay, so that okay, this one. Okay, wait after that. So pin thirteen. Let's set it to yeah. And then for this one, after that, we're gonna make sure we off it. Pin thirteen. Okay. Okay, else that means uh. The other side is being blocked, so just now was left side was being blocked, and now else that means if it's right side is being blocked, and the left side is not being blocked, so what we can do is simply to turn left. Okay, so to turn left, we need our right motor to move forward and our left motor to reverse, so right motor to move forward is on pin uh, pin 6, to reverse on left motor is pin 10. Okay, and one more thing we need is LED indicator. LED indicator for left signal pin indicator is connected to pin 12. So we're going to switch on pin 12, and then after that we're going to switch off pin 12. Okay, no. Okay, so that's pretty much about it. And then one more last thing is the speaker. We have to turn it off, so it's under this block. Okay, drop it before it ends. Okay, that means that's when there's no obstacle, we're gonna switch it off. Okay, and we can, in addition, we can just add this serial monitor to print out our turning. So we are turning left, so we are going to turn left. So it's, we know we can keep track of what's happening. Easy. Rather than seeing the motor rotate, it's kind of hard to see, especially in this simulation. Okay, bring right, and then reverse, or bring reverse. And go forward. Where is my forward? The serial monitor, bring forward. Okay, so that's pretty much about it. Okay, so we can take a look at our simulation. Okay, open up simulator, monitor, start simulation. Okay, so you observe this one. So our default mode turns to 90 degree. Okay, so we're gonna start. Okay, so now it's around 67, 80 plus. So it's more than that. So we're gonna move forward. Okay, you can see the RPM is positive going forward. Okay, so now let's say it's less than it's 34, less than. Okay, so what's gonna do is uh, okay, we're gonna make it reverse. So we hear buzzer. We're gonna start rotating towards left. Check on left. And then it's gonna turn right and then check on right. So in this case, both are less than 50. Then it's almost occupied. So you see negative RPM reversing. Okay. Okay. So now let's say it's less than, and left side is also occupied. And then we'll move away for the right side. Okay. Start turning right. Okay. Okay. You can see positive on left side, negative on right side. Okay. There's something wrong on this indicator. Let's check on that. Okay. Uh, pin 12. Okay. We set wrong pin. No, we set uh, right is pin 13. Set wrong. Okay. So we're gonna try that again. So we'll move left. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Turn left. And then uh, you see right motor is moving positive forward, negative on uh, reversing on left motor. Okay. We're gonna try make it on the right side. So it's less than forward, so it's gonna check on the left side, it's also less than occupied, so we're gonna move forward after that. Okay, now it's 83, so there's nothing on the right side, so we're gonna turn right. Okay, you see positive on left side, negative on right, okay, and turn on the right indicator. Now, second module is our training module, so you can see when I switch it switch on, it's um, positive RPM, so it's moving, so it's doing star screening, so when I switch it off, it's not moving anything. Okay, so simple as that. So that's it, thank you for watching.